in part of the video the ideal ideal vapor compression refrigeration cycle you will see this is the schematic of the ordinary uh, household refrigerator um, you will you, you look here um, this is the freezer compartment so the tubes tubes in the freezer compartments actually um, where the heat is absorbed okay so the freezer compartment tubes where heat is absorbed by the refrigerant and it serves as a evaporator you can see the evaporator coil here the ql this is qhase and the coil behind the refrigerator okay it actually um where heat is dissipated to the kitchen air um, so let's say kitchen air temperature is 25 degrees centigrade here uh, the temperature is eight negative 18 this is three the compressor is here you see the condenser coil is here the q haze this is q haze here is the capillary tube this is some physical arrangement but try to understand um, the diagram so we need to actually understand the diagram so here you will you'll see this is the pressure and the enthalpy diagram so we told um, earlier for process 2 3 and 4 1 this two it will be constant pressure heat absorption and constant pressure heat rejection but when we discussed the you know the ts diagram uh, so this is only the temperature and the uh, entropy so now we'll try to understand okay how the pressure is changed so we said um, the constant pressure for 3 2 and 4 on these two processes you look here this is actually process 1 to 2 where the compressor is here so we need some work in we found for better comparison we should think this way so this is actually the ts diagram this is the tph diagram you look here at this point this point two this point one the it is isentropic change so that means the entropy is equal now here at this two point if we draw the line like this you can see the enthalpy it is changing because when it is the isentropic change you know the temperature increases so enthalpy is function of temperature the enthalpy will increase so enthalpy increases here h1 h2 when it is um, 2 to 3 2 to 3 you see temperature decreases this way because uh, of the heat uh, rejections to the warm surfaces what we can say here at this point actually p2 and p3 the pressure it is constant if we say here p1 and p4 are constant that we discussed earlier okay during this process 3 2 and 4 on it is constant pressure heat rejection and constant pressure heat absorption so that actually clearly telling here so uh, when it moves to this uh, at initially at state 1 we discussed this so point 2 to 3 the pressure is constant but now when it moves to 2 to 3 then you see you look carefully this is haze 3 so haze 2 it is greater than haze 3 the enthalpy now decreasing the, you see the enthalpy now decreasing similarly at constant pressure heat rejection you see so we we, we we found earlier the temperature decreases the enthalpy also decreases now when it is 3 to 4 we can see the pressure in this case actually you see the pressure here p3 pressure here p4 so enthalpy at this point 3 to 4 it's not changing you see here actually this haze 3 and haze 4 it will be equal at this point and at this point so both you know the enthal you know the enthalpy at haze 3 haze 4 it will be equal but when we will see the th diagram then we'll see at this point t let's say this is um, s3 and at this point it is s4 so they are not equal so the entropy will change so this is actually how the entropy and you know see the ts and the p haze diagram 
you see the some comparison actually how it is correlated with each other and for ideal vapor compression cycle um, so our observation is if we if we replace the throttling device the expansion valve capillary tube if we replace it and if we put a turbine then it will be this you know point four it will be here then it will be again isentropic change previously we said it is constant pressure heat resections at the con you know um you know the throttling in an expansion device it will be then you know the isentropic change it will be the isentropic change but um, when we are using that expansion bulb then it is not anymore an isentropic so that we discussed last time so when we solve some problem actually sometimes we need to use this ts diagram the ph diagram so here we try to understand actually how um, the enthalpy enthalpy and the entropy is changing with pressure and temperature so uh, i think that's it and later on we'll discuss the actual paper compression refrigeration cycle